Dude, I'm gonna go to Target and I'm gonna buy the the Target mascot dog. I'm just gonna find Bullseye and I'm just gonna. He, what twenty bucks maybe? How how much do you think a dog actually costs? Well, it depends what type of dog you're getting. If you're going like the Target dog, the Target dog. Oh, I don't think he's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, now that I'm saying it out loud, I don't think I could purchase the target dog. But you know how they have like the little uh, mannequins of the dog? Yeah. Like the little like statues, I guess. I'm They're almost like that. that. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the cart and just cover it in like a blanket and be like, "Yes, Ooh. just buying the blanket for today." The the dog-shaped blanket. What's up, everyone? Because we're not doing a podcast episode this week, this is what we're doing. We're doing a trailer recap. And there was a crap ton of trailers this week. Is crap a bad word? Do I have to censor that out, Jim? No. Okay. We're just going to jump right into it. We got five trailers to talk about. Let's talk about the one that I like the most first. Space Jams 2. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. I said it out loud when it happened. I went, Don Cheadle. (laughs) You said Don Cheadle. Yep. Jackson, what is our Don Don Cheadle Cheadle word of the day? John, Don Cheadle word of the day is Space Jam 2. Hmm. I didn't think that he'd be animated. That that kind of shook me a little bit when, when it he It didn't was... look too much like him, did it? No, it but didn't. I mean, that's like Looney Tunes. Like, Bugs Bunny doesn't look like a bunny. Yeah. I mean, like, I was like, oh, that's a nice thing. I didn't expect them to do that. Like, I'd be fine if it was 50% cartoon LeBron James and 50% real LeBron James. I don't think James. it will be. I think that was just like a I, It's going to be much sequence. more. I think it might help the movie because LeBron probably isn't the greatest actor. He's so bad. Wow. That was kind of rough to watch, and it was just a trailer. Hey, yeah. come on. You have to be good at basketball, like me, LeBron James, NBA superstar. <laughs> but that no. was the thing in like the first Space Jam. Is like the actors weren't that great. It was more about like you know the story and like the animated portions. Yeah. Are those but LeBron's I'm... actual kids in the movie? I they know, are, I know. Really? Are they? I think they are. I'm, I like, would hope positive. so. I feel like that'd be really weird. Yeah. I feel like I've seen them hey, before, but kids. like not. Let me look it up. Because I'm assuming he's playing LeBron James. He, I, yes. No, he's just LeBron James in this one. So it's is a, he it's LeBron a, it's James a, from a different universe who no, has different No, it's a kids? biopic. Oh, I lied. Oh. It's not the same person. Oh, it's a LeBron James from an alternate universe with different kids then. Can't Apparently, yeah. Uh, wow, that's at. awkward. Uh, now, awkward. Sorry, all of LeBron James' children. How many does he have? Let's take a guess. Three? Four, I'd say four. I'm going to go That's with three. I think two is too little. I two think is four too little is to, for an LeBron excessive James. amount of kids. Uh, Jackson, what's the result? Uh, we have three. Oh! Woo! Oh! Boom, baby. Right. That's why they but call me the LeBron James expert. They call you the LeBron James <laughs> of knowing LeBron James facts? Yeah. No, I'm the Don Cheadle of knowing LeBron James facts. You're the Don, Don Cheadle fact of the day. LeBron has three kids. There we go. Uh, this looks fun. And uh, just a heads up, not just for the audience, but for you two as well. The week before this comes out, we're going to be... Re- oh, oh, boy. It's not as good as I remember, come probably. On. Space Jam. But come on, how about that theme, baby? Uh, that's generally the case. Jamming in space. Come on and slam. And welcome to the Space Jams 2. Yep, that's how they used it. Uh, the next trailer I want to talk about, um, because the movie doesn't look good, is Cruella. Mm. <laughs> um, I don't think this trailer showed us anything new. Uh, it's kind of just like a, a tiny bit extra from the first trailer we saw. Yeah. And I don't know about you guys, but live action Disney movies don't work in my eyes. Interesting. And this one doesn't hey. look any different. Well, I thought the live-action Mulan was probably my favorite movie ever, so I'm really excited for this movie, Jackson. That's odd, because millions of people would disagree with you. Okay. Millions of people would probably disagree with, like, walls or something, but I still have walls (laughs) in my house. (laughs) Disagree? I'm just not... I I don't call myself Wallace. I don't claim myself to be, um, but... Uh, Sorry, I'm anti-wall. You know, when... (laughs) When that legislation was put out saying that all buildings needed walls. Uh, I thought that was a little big. <laughs> I thought that was huh? terrible. I was like, whoa, we can't share the space now? I mean, we got to have our own spaces? Like, you know how much square <laughs> footage you're losing when you put up these walls? They are feet thick. So many <laughs> human feet can fit in between these walls. 
how how thick is this wall? Five hundred feet? Really? <laughs> yeah, you could fit about five hundred feet within the three inches of the wall. That's really optimistic. Have you seen a wall with without any drywall? Just a lot of feet. You could probably only do like one like layer of feet going up in between each stud. Yeah. Oh, I was assuming we'd take out all the wood and the... Um... Oh, no, no. The wood is integral. Well, if you have enough feet in the wall, I'm pretty sure they just replace each other. <laughs> well, integrity. you need a lot of feet in that regard. Yeah, like 500 okay. feet. Where do you, you screw the drywall you know onto? Do you just yeah. screw it into the toes? You're just like, whoop. Found a toe. You got to get a toe detector when you want to screw things into the wall. Okay, I'm drawing the fucking line of toe <laughs> detector, man. <laughs> Speaking about Cruella. This movie has nothing to do with it. And then one scene for like half a second, she took my dog. <laughs> and then you're yeah, like, oh, that correct. I really wasn't expecting Dalmatians to be in this movie. Yeah. But I guess. This seems to follow like the Maleficent movie thing where they're like, it's not related. And also will barely have anything to do with the first movie. I'm not excited for it. I'm not Next excited day. either, but we're going to have to do it. If you're excited for it, then... Good on you. It's going to be bad. Good for you. I hope you enjoy the movie Cruella, uh, official trailer to 2021. Our next trailer is Jupiter's Legacy. Mm. I want to talk about this one because I also think it will probably not be good. Mm. I would have to agree. It doesn't look like... I mean, they didn't really say much about the story. There doesn't seem to be a story from the trailer. It just seems to be like... It's like oh, someone's got to take up the mantle, even though he's still alive for some reason, which was I, weird. That seems kind of dumb. Yeah, it's like, hey, I'm still alive, but you want to? Someone's got to live up to my legacy. But your own son couldn't do it. Yeah, he sucks. You guys, you you ragtag group of teens with superpowers want to do it. Also, we have very bad special effects. I'm going to throw in a third opinion here. Don't know if it will mix with everyone else. I also think that this movie won't um, won't be that good. Oh, that's a controversial yeah. one. Yeah. Bit, bit daring, but uh, someone had to say it. Um, it's got good actors in it. It just seems like, and it's based on like a comic series and everything. It just seems like one of those ones where you're like, do we need this? We don't. That's the answer. We, I we don't, don't think we it. do. Yeah. Do we really need to know what happens to Jupiter? Come on. Girls oh, go that's to true. it. That's the title Girls of the go to movie. Jupiter and they get stupider, Dan, and that's what happens. It's a Jupiter. movie, right? Not a series. Yeah, I'm, I'd assume I'm, so. I'm glad that it's a movie and not a series. I don't think they could do a series with this and keep invested viewers. You know what else? I'm glad is a movie and not a series. What are we talking about here? Marvel Studios Black Widow, starring Scarlett Woo! Johansson. Mm. That's how you Didn't say like it in that Latin. At all. In uh, Latin? In, in Latin. your thick, fake French <laughs> accent. You're like, oh, that's Latin. Yeah, that's Latin. Awesome. Uh, thoughts on this one, boys? We got we saw ourselves a whispering, weaselly old guy in this in this trailer. No mm-hmm. way. I think that's the bad guy, though. I think Hopper we're getting a fake things. taskmaster. Yeah. He was there. He was there, too. I'm just going to start naming people I recognize. <laughs> I recognize the Black Widow character. I've seen mm-hmm. her before. Don't really know what from, but... There seem to be Seems a lot cool. of Black Widows in this movie, not just the one we know, not Johansson as well. Hmm. Um, a lot of gunplay here, a couple flips, a couple kicks. Yep. You uh, know I love my flips punchy, and punchy, kicks. Another punchy, punchy, shooty, shooty type. Hey, beat. but you can add a little bit of a skydivey scene to this movie. That 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 uh that scene confused me because they were in a car and the car blew up and then they were falling from the sky. Yeah, I think I the like, transition. Um... <laughs> it was a little too clean, you know. Yeah, I was like, You're whoa, like, Wait. I'm a little thrown off here. I no longer want to see the movie. <laughs> That's a really tall bridge if they're falling that high. <laughs> Woo! Wow, how'd they have the parachute ready? And how did they survive a car explosion? Jackson, what do you think about the flashbacks in this trailer? Uh, there was no flash in them, so going to have to be a 0 out of 10 for me. Makes a good Jackson's point. on the board. Maybe try board. Black Widow backs next time. Nice. I hate you. But Anytime she turns around, there's a Black Widow back. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Two, Nailing it. Two just absolute home runs. <laughs> back yeah. to back. Oh, yeah. Or, or should, should we say, we say <laughs> Black Widow back to Black Widow back? We're, we're dealing with some meddling characters. Everyone likes a, a mischievous character, huh? 
Nope. I don't. It's time to talk about Loki, the trailer that isn't just a teaser, but actually shows us what the plot's going to be. Yeah, I like this trailer. This is the one that I'm actually positive about this week. Yeah. Same. I actually thought it was good, and I was like, holy crap, it's going to be cool and funny. Funny. They the make fact some that jokes. They got, the, the fact that they got Owen Wilson in it, and he's going to be like a substantial part of this series, good. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Marvel has I hope he says all wow. of my fan I letters so. about uh, I need Owen Wilson in the MCU more than my brother needs surgery for his broken <laughs> leg. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to be, be the big takeaway from this series? He's still going to be dead, I think. Oh, you think it's going to end and he's going to be dead? Yeah, they're going to be like, all right, go back to your timeline like nothing ever happened. Well, he's then... from 2012. I know. So he's oh, going to go back to the timeline, and then the time timeline. will just be set, and Loki will still you be think dead. The timeline is going to be fixed. I feel like there's gonna they're going to open up alternate realities. No, this seems alternate like Loki's going to muck it up more than fix it. Probably, yeah, I... they got to introduce the multiverse somewhere. Yeah, Mysterio's lion butt was wrong. And that far was from so. Home. I was so excited. He said, "Except anyone who knew about Mysterio automatically went, this guy's full of shit." Oh. Hmm. And he's like, I'm from an alternate reality where it's the exact same, except everyone's dead. Except Not there were these big it. four things that did <laughs> scary things. Earth, wind, fire, water. That's real and original. The fifth one was all of them mixed together. Wow. That cool. sounds a lot like the plot of... You know what? It's Mysterio, better Mysterio, to has anyone told it. you you look exactly like Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Jackson. what I don't get in these movies. Yeah, so, because they make references to they stuff. They make pop culture references, but who's who's who are all the famous people then? Yeah, because they make Star Wars references in some um, movies, but I, I guess the prequels don't exist in this universe because everyone would go, Nick Fury looks exactly like Mace yeah. Windu, right? <laughs> True. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually, if they brought that up. That would be so funny, Jackson. Or maybe Mace Windu will come through a portal, and that's how they save Mace Windu in the Star Wars universe. They'll bring him oh into the God. Marvel universe, and then they'll swap places. So Nick Fury goes to Star Wars. Every idea that fails in Star Wars, they just throw it into wait, the MCU until it's wait like a, a minute. trash bin. I mean, th- Star Wars and Marvel are both owned by Disney now, so they, they could potentially could. tie the universes do together. Do you think that they would ever do that, Danan? I hope Hear they do. <laughs> I think in these shows, that like Loki or maybe even the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness... Disney now owns the rights to Alien, Predator, Planet of the Apes, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not saying they should do it. I am saying, however, that the door is very much open for them like, to go. Like, at least for like Look, a brief second. Look, it's a planet second. of monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What is this? They some kind go. of... What is this? Planet of the Planet of the Apes? Some kind of planet, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Some kind of plant? <laughs> what is this? A movie? Well, that's our trailer summary of the week we might do one next week but we might not depending on all the trailers that get released if not we will see you back on our podcast the week that mortal kombat gets released april 23rd not when our episode comes out that's just when the movie comes out don't expect that highly of us uh but as always we'll see you in the next episode on youtube and we would love to see you on the next podcast as well don't forget to like share comment subscribe jackson camden words of wisdom to end this Oh, yeah. Push that notification bell. That. (laughs) (laughs) Good night, America. Everyone say good night. Take care.